Today on A Commonly Good MTG, we're playing a really interesting mono black undead aggro deck featuring skeletons, zombies, and vampires, and rats. <laughs> Anyways, this deck has a, just tears it right out of the gate and goes for people's throats in ways that you normally don't see outside of mono red. Uh, if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host, your master of ceremonies on this journey towards fun and enlightenment, Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. Film for a live studio audience. Thank you so much. Yukon Socket. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you a deck I found over on Magic GG's Platinum Mythic List. Uh, it does not have a name, and so after playing a little bit, it's called it Black Undead. Black Undead. So um, yeah, I thought it looked interesting. What I'm looking for in here was it was a mono black deck, and it had cards you didn't normally see, and there's like no Shouldred, there's uh, no Virtue Persistence, it's just a bunch of interesting weird cards jammed together coming off the platinum mythic list i'm really hoping this deck has the chops to come out be aggressive and be you know competitive obviously it should be and i think we can make that happen so uh and you know getting this late in the meta since tomorrow is the release of karlov manor or whatever uh i'm happy to have something different to play all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick look at these cards, talk about how the deck should work, and then we're going to go out and we're going to crush some hopes and dreams. So what do we got here? We got Champion of the Perished, who gets bigger every time you put out a zombie. We got uh, Jadar, who at the end of every turn basically puts out a new zombie, which will pump up Champion of the Perished. We got a uh, Skeleton that comes out, who gets bigger if you got out Corpses of the Lost, because it gives he's basically a uh, Skeleton Lord and gives him haste. Of course, this guy... De demands that he gets put out slow so even if he gets haste it's not going to help you out too much but he can return from the graveyard for just a cheap cheap cost of two mana this is a guy that gets bigger uh, as you pump things into him he's not a skeleton zamp, uh, vampire or zombie at all this guy forces a discard but allows you to pay extra to eventually to scry this puts out rats but does a little bit of vampirism along the way but helps out vehicles here is a vehicle that you can use all of your Little undead dudes to, to drive around and do four points of damage to stuff. Uh, creature Destruction. This guy's a 3-1. He can be returned from the graveyard. And if your opponent has four non-basic lands, it only costs two to return it from the graveyard. Uh, what else we got? This guy, every time one of your guys dies, your opponent loses two and you gain two life. It only happens once per turn. This guy puts out a zombie token and it gets plus one plus zero and haste. Because of the enchantment being out. You get more of these things out, it helps all your skeletons out. And this guy can become a 2-2, and he's not undead either. All right, so we just got a bunch of interesting synergistic black cards going on. But they're both cheap, cheap, aggro-y kind of guys. All right, so that's pretty much it. We're just getting them out, hoping that they'll interact and get themselves something going on, and you'll be able to wipe out your opponent. Before we do that, though, let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Dear Black King Toxrel, who dwells within the black chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see the driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. I open against Slayer. Slayer. From 1987. Keep... You like you like the zombies, don't you, my friend? All right, we'll play that. Let's keep that dragon down. I just don't like how dragons get all uppity. Got crew two. That's not gonna help us out too much. And we gotta play against poison, which isn't the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, 
And now you can just do your protection from black across the board. Ah, uh, all right, fine. And that's it, because he comes out tapped like a sucker. We got to accept the poison. How dare you? That yeah, you are not fun for zombies, are you, my friend? All right, let's go for the Skelthorn. Oh, I guess I could have sent him in, couldn't I? No, no attacks. We're cool. In turn. Little defense isn't going to hurt. All right, here you go, Qbert. There's some energon cubes for you. I wouldn't mind to get some creature removal. It'd be really cool, but we need a lot of it at this point. What you gonna do, bad boys? All right, that was for no particular reason. You just felt like doing it, apparently. All right, we're going to town. I guess I should have. I mean, it's not gonna do it against the four four. Let's just send him in. Don't want to sacrifice anything else. No, I'm cool. All right, you said you weren't blocking, so you just got to let it go at that point. He's some sort of... He's not a skeleton thing, is he? No. Nope. All right. All right, you juicy little zombies, little skeletons. You're looking pretty good. You're getting all swole like Skeletor. I should tackle these guys. That's 10 damage. What's next here? Ooh, you're pretty cool, man. And you'll bump up every time another one comes into play. All right. Let's, let's get dangerous. We're cool. I don't mind losing a zombie. It's totally cool. Or a skeleton. You just continue to suck it, huh? And champion of the parish. Getting old champion here. So he needs to start blocking me, but he doesn't want to. 
And the deal is I could just let this stuff slide. I'll have to do a little bit of math, probably. All right, you're going to send through one guy. Good for you. Yep, and that's black for you. And we win. And we win. Victory! All right, we're playing against Disease Snake. I don't want to talk about your junk, man. Keep. All right, we got some vehicles. Now he's got to get some uh, skeletons out there. Or some zombies that can drive those vehicles. That'd be super cool. Yeah, I'm going to wait out in Jadar a little bit, just in case this guy wants to go creature kill crazy. As we know it in the, you know, professional fields, the CKC. We got a lot of vehicles. Let's keep him back as defense. He'll probably start monstering us right now. Monster Rip Claw, whatever that was. So I believe I can Soul Ripper in on this guy. He just can't attack, but he can definitely block. Yeah, you should be worried, man. I mean, you could just shoot him right now, but I'll just jump over there and put him in the way. Assuming that vehicleizing is as fast as an instant. Because it's a cost. Like mana. Shoot it. There you go. I mean, we got to just work our way through this stuff, unfortunately. There's two cards down. And we're good to go. No attacks. Oh, look at that. We got a we got a soul ripper just standing right there. You ready to waste two more cards? I'd like to put some zombies behind the wheel, but we're not getting there. Slow and steady, man. Let's just see how we do against mono red. That was a huge hit. He's running out of cards, though. I got, I got to hope for the best here. All right, another one. And it's more vampire. And we're good. All right, believe it or not, we're at 17 to 17. What are you doing up here? Just mana? You pulled a couple of good ones, didn't you? Oh, I guess that's an enchantment, isn't it? Try it again. Finally, one's dead.
You, you got to go after the Soul Ripper, man. He's the only muscle I got at the moment. Wonder Twin Powers, activate. We'll wait on that. Let's go ahead and go in for two. There we go. Nice little punch to the nose. Okay, you got a single card, man. I'm guessing. Uh, no blocks. I kind of suck. Not so fast, Jadar. Uh, we'll keep it. Would be nice to have a champion that perished out right now, comboing up with Jadar. What do we got? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You do anything good for us here? Not really. All right, let's uh, send them in. Not so fast, Jadar. All right, so you can sacrifice your dudes. Maybe you got some pump. I don't know. To block the road captains, you got to block with two of them. So you're going to take at least four from right there. Because I think you're probably going to block these other two. Rage! Up, up, uh. We got four. Here's five. All right. So you can do right now seven points of damage. I got a bunch of non blockers. Jadar, this might be your time to take the chump. Well, that is a lot. I'm only going to be able to block off on one point. Everything else is unchumpable. Doesn't matter at this point. Oh, just barely. The humanity. All right, playing against Marcel Pullian. Pullian. I know I played against you before, Marcel, because I can never pronounce your name. Oh, what are we doing here? Are we going first? I don't know. And we need to turn off this goblin. There you go. Just stand there, money. Oh, everything we got is cheap. We are number one, though. We'll get the raider out. Take some a little while to warm that guy up. All right, so next turn we can... Throw that rat captain behind the vehicle there. I tell you, we're just gonna get the second one going is what we're gonna do. All in! No, decline, real cool. I wanna sacrifice somebody, it's gonna be one of these guys. What do you think you're doing there, little board wiper? Get in there. Hmm. 
Uh, uh, nope. I don't care. We're cool. Down to six. Welcome back, my friend. All right, go get him. Down to four. We are rocking it. Is he going to wipe the board again? Because that's all he does is wipe boards. I mean, if you put any creatures out, Brand would do well. I guess if my guys die, then he dies. That's how it's going to work. It only works once per turn, though. So you can only lose, you can wipe the board, he'd lose two life. All right, Marcel seems like he doesn't sure what to do. Roll in, roll in, roll in. There we go. He peed his pants. Looking for his mama. Victory! I right, playing against Neral. Neral. Yep. All right, he's, he's playing the used ones, the ones that look like every magic card I have in real life. Because my God, I do not play with sleeves. I like the way I need. I need to to feel real. Mine are all covered in pizza grease. And I don't know what else. They're covered in pizza grease. Let's put it that way. So I can pay six to get these guys back from the graveyard. All right. Blue. All right, nothing instant that he could play. That was good. My guess is he's gonna put out a black now. Nope, he's going Simic. Ah, uh, pay three life. That's cool. What's life for, man? I I hope that was the one card that was holding his whole deck together. He didn't have anything else going on. All right, one can't be blocked. One, the other one can't block anything. Let's put out this guy. It's me. I'm a razor lasher. All right, he's down to nine. I'm definitely throwing out a tremendous amount of damage. And we win. Yep. Ongoing. Not white. Onslaughts. Victory. All right, we're playing against Gambito Jack Jackman. Jackum. Uh, nope, can't play this. I have no black mana. That was a bad selection on my part. All right, we're playing against Hot Dog Stand Owner. He's got one of the zombies. I'm not seeing very many zombies coming out here. Let's, let's start with the Evolved Sleeper. All 
Alright, two. Let's give him a little bit of a pump. All in for the one. And champion of the perished. Touch the precious. The funny part is I expected to put the brand out first. The fact he's not blocking is good. And let's take out something in his hand. He's definitely got dinosaur level mana sources at this moment. Apparently he likes his hand too much to make a quick decision. That doesn't look very dinosaur-y. Wants to give him a little trample. All right, we only got one shot to take something out. This pretty much could be whatever he's playing next. Human. That doesn't look very human. Death. All right, that's six. I bet she's just gonna let it happen. All right, we got him down to seven. We need Menace and Death Touch to win this game, and we don't have either of those things. We can get it from a Vault Sleeper. He just needs a little shot in the arm. We win. All right, apparently we had what it takes. Victory! Alright, so here we are with Black Undead. It was an interesting deck. Uh, what I liked about it was we were playing Mono Black, which is great. Um, but then we were, you know, and it was with a bunch of creatures we really didn't see a lot of. I mean, we've seen, you know, it's just, I always say this combination of creatures. Because it was all skeletons and zombies for the most part. You know, saying that out loud, it's not exactly true. Because this is a rat and this guy is a cleric. Um, yeah, but for the most part, it was, you know, here's Champion of Paris reacting to other zombies. Who does he combo with? Jadar. Here's, uh, this, the cult concept, who's a skeleton. And who does he reply, who work with? This guy. Here's Vran, who is neither a skeleton or a zombie, but is instead he's a vampire. But he really likes it when Jadar's zombies die. So there's just a lot of synergy between the cards. They all have to do with Vampires, skeletons, zombies. I mean, it's very black mana, you know, black mana like. And what do you do? You throw them behind the wheel of a of a vehicle and you make them go to town. Like a 1957 horror show. <laughs> All right, so let's just see. Who was the MVP of this particular deck? Um, I'm going to say... I'm going to say it was the Soul Ripper. That was the card I was most looking forward to. I liked the way... That we crew for two, and we had a lot of cards with two for power. The fact that it comes out with a four three, um, we could, if we had days we were willing to sacrifice, and there was a bunch of guys that come back from the graveyard, we could pump it up and give it menace, which was pretty decent. It had a lot of versatility, but still, you know, none of these these cards really stood out incredibly well. This was really like a black aggro deck, and as such, you know, it was a bunch of weenies doing weenie stuff. Still, it did better more times than not, so that makes it into a good deck. So who is the MVP? We're going to call it the Soul Ripper. Nipping at the heels, I'm going to say it's probably Vran, just because he, you know, did that vampiring of the loses two life and you gain two life when one of your creatures died. I just, there to be a true combo guard, we need to get rid of that. Uh, this ability triggers only once each turn. I'd be willing to pay an additional one or two more for this guy if we could do it as much as actually died. I bet you, though, that he was just a part of some gigantic combos that killed people off in one turn. All right, so let's see. Was this deck competitive? We got 57% win rate. Uh, I tend to think of that as being low. Anything under 60 is low, but it's, comp it's winning enough to be a deck worth playing. 
So um, I got off of the Platinum Mythic list. I got a 57%. This is a competitive deck, at least in a low, low way. But it's worth playing, man. Yeah, you can play it. You're going to win more than you lose. That's a good deck. Is this deck fun? Uh, it's an aggro deck, so I did enjoy it. I, that's the kind of person I like. I like to play aggro. You know, I'll tell you the thing I didn't like is that we only had four creature removals and Bitter Triumph. That was it. And I was screaming in my head for more creature removals all the time. If I were to turn this into something that's much more Dr. Suckadery, I would remove four of something else and put in four more creature removals in there. What would that be? I mean, even Hopeless Nightmare was kind of dull in this deck. Uh, discard works best when you pile it up with other discards. Eh, and sure, this one has a sac you know the ability to sacrifice it for a scry, but... You know, what else could I sacrifice it to for some reason? I guess for, is it Soul Ripper? No, that only takes out artifacts and creatures. Yeah, man, I'd probably take this out and put some creature removal and go for the throat or something. I don't know. Yeah, these guys, maybe the ability to pump them up somehow. That would have been cool because uh, they're on the low end. And it was sometimes it's hard to get over things that had defense of four or greater. All right, so but was it competitive? It was aggro. It was fast. It was at the beginning. It did a good job. So it was a fun, fun deck from a fighting perspective. Lastly, was it interesting? Yeah, yeah, it was interesting because of the types of cards that are in here. It's getting, you know, all these creatures, these low-end ones, with a bunch of little synergistic combos going on. I think out of everything, this deck was completely interesting. And this thing shines as being an interesting deck. All right, so let's add that up. Was it competitive? Yes. Was it fun? Yeah. Was it interesting? Totes. But I'm not going to give it an A+, plus just because I felt the competitive was a little bit on the light side. And I didn't like the fact that it just completely petered out if we got past mid-game. I like to have something at the end that would do a good job. Maybe uh, Virtue of Persistence or something would be cool. Yeah, that's what we should really put in here, other than the Hopeless Nightmare, be Virtue of Persistence. Just because once you get up to 7, you can start stealing other people's creatures from their graveyard. And I think that would really help out a lot. All right, so uh, I'll give it a straight A. Straight A, this deck has, it was a great deck. It had a lot of potential, and uh, it was good as it is. So if you can put this thing together, I'd highly recommend it. So the straight A deck, all I got to say is if you decide to play with this deck, I hope that you have as much fun as I did. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the underground secret headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, be excellent to each other and party on, dudes.